You guys are a bunch of punks. I can take any one of you dweebs. Bring it on. Why are you even here, you bunch of chickens? Ha 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 ha. Big loudmouth over there? That's Goliath. Every Sunday school kid knows about him and how King David took him on. But check this out. Goliath is a pretty massive dude in real life. The tip of his spear alone weighs 15 pounds, heavier than a human head. Just his armor weighs more than 125 pounds. He's a little more intimidating in real life than in any Bible story. Pay attention to the people you see and tell me, which one of these characters are you? Not so intimidating, is he? This is the guy who took the Israelites from a loosely linked group of tribes to a powerful Middle Eastern nation. You wouldn't guess that by looking at him now, would you? Most church kids know about him being king, how he killed Goliath, and how he had an affair with Bathsheba. Most of you guys even know what he wrote most of the Psalms. But did you know that even here tending sheep, David was very committed to God and worship? You'll understand later. Oh look, here comes David's father. David, take this food to your brothers and find out who's winning the battle and how my manly man sons are doing. Sure, Pops! Here, give me! <laughs> I will kill you all! <laughs> your opinion, he is huge. If I were you, I'd blow a fuse. <laughs> By the shield of Odin and the spear of Thor, I'll strike you down and you'll be no more. Good one, big guy. What are you doing here? You should be at home with your little sheep. You're such a wannabe hater, raider. This war dude's embarrassing God people. What will King Saul do if I help? Serious bling, no taxes, and you'll get to marry the king's daughter. No taxes? Sweet! Shut up, David, and go home. What have I done now? Chill out. I was just talking to the go guys. Home. King Saul, I am, I am, I'm going to kill with Goliath, so don't worry about a thing. Seriously? Yep, I can do it. I've been practicing. Okay, whatever. Uh, here, David, there's, um, there's some stuff. That, that, it's my late cloak, and there's a sword. You, you might want it. Um, uh, if you're going to fight Goliath, you'll, you'll need it. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Your threads are cool and all, but I got my own style. I just don't want to bust my groove. Okay. I'm calling you out for 40 days, and you give me this? Isis. By the gods of Isis and Baal, you're going to fail. You're one big, mean, nasty dude. I may not have an armor or shield, but God is my friend, and I, he will strike you down, and you will be no more! Like I said before, every Sunday school kid knows the story of David and Goliath. But it's not just some ancient Bible story. It's an example of God's power and David's commitment. My question to you is, who are you in this story? I'm a total godless person who brags and relies on his own strength. I believe as long as you're spiritual, you're going to be okay. Don't ask God to guide the future. I think I know what's best and who is really important in this world. I just want to be accepted. I don't really care about right and wrong. I'm not even sure if there is a right and wrong. I don't think about that. It's a full-time job just trying to be popular. God isn't really real to me. I react to my surroundings without realizing that God is with me. I'm a Christian, but I haven't really relied on God in my life. It's all there. I represent Christianity to the world around me, but I don't want to step out on faith. I'm more interested in what people around me think about me than what God thinks about me. We want to live our lives in the world, 
Don't bother us with all this God stuff. The only way to get ahead is to make someone look bad. And we kind of see conceit our hearts with dark, dark thoughts. I'm David. I'm not perfect, but I get mad when God is being put down in this world. God is my friend, and He is the power that I rely on in my life. I know God is real, and I try to win my wife out. Who are you in this story? 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 Who are you in this story?